Good morning, it's Jeremy. It's Monday, March the 29th, a gorgeous day. And uh, what I want to do um, this morning is I want to look quickly at the properties of the MPU 9250. That's the uh, accelerometer, gyroscope, and uh, magnetometer that we're going to use with the Pi Pilot on Open Plotter. What I've got here is I've got an Arduino Uno. Um, and the nice thing about the nice thing about the Arduino is there's all sorts of software libraries written for it. So there's an interesting program. If you search in the Arduino library, there's a complete uh, set of software for the MPU 9250. So I've got it hooked up now, and I just want to show you the behavior of the 9250, how it works with a simple program here. If you look on the screen, what we've got here, if I extend this. You've got a bunch of variables here. This turns out to be the X, Y, and Z component of the accelerometer. There we have X, Y, Z for the gyroscope. There we have X, Y, Z for the compass, and that's the temperature. So let's forget about the temperature for now. So I'll just uh, remove that. Okay, so I've got nine degrees of freedom, nine variables there. Incidentally, this uh, Arduino is located in the Baya de Mayaguez in Puerto Rico. So. I kind of wish I was down there lying on a beach. Anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this thing up. Okay, so there's the top of the MPU 9250. You notice it's got a little pilot light there. The square chip is the um, accelerometer and the gyroscope and the magnetometer. And the silver chip with a little small hole is the um, BMP280. Uh, this is the board that got damaged, the BMP280. I think what happened was it was in a small package and it got crushed. So I think that's why it didn't work. But everything else still works on it. Like I say, for 10 bucks, it's an incredible amount of hardware on a small little chip like this. So let's look at the compass first. So the compass is over here. It's the last three readings. Remember with the compass that the X is in this direction. The Y is in this direction. Right hand rule, Y, the Z, uh, Z axis is down. So as I move this like this, as X uh, starts to point to north, there's X, Y uh, will slowly go to zero. So that will be the um, east component. So you can see it's slowly decreasing here. And as I get to north, it'll go down to zero. So it's almost zero now. This stays constant, the Z component. So there we go. So that now we're at approximately north. Uh, it's tough in the apartment here because I've got a, um, a railing, a steel iron railing outside. So I don't know what kind of effect. North is actually a bit, little bit that way. So I think that's causing some problems there. Okay, so let's look at the um, let's look at the accelerometer. So this is the X component. Now there's a slightly different um, arrangement of axes for the accelerometer and gyroscope. Remember they're on one separate die. So for the um, AC. The Y is in this direction and the X is in this direction. So if you do take the right hand rule, X to Y, then Z is pointing up. So Y is in this direction. So if I rapidly move uh, the unit like that, I'll see a displacement in Y and that's what we see there. So let me quickly, you see the quick displacement there. Uh, so that's Y and if I move it quickly in this direction, you'll see a displacement over here on X. You see that? So that's the X. And then if I vertically move it, then you'll see it in Z there. Okay, so that's the accelerometer. Now the gyroscope, let's look at the gyroscope. So for the gyroscope, uh, X is in this direction. So if I go like this, then I'm changing X, which is what it's changing. And there's Y, Y is in this direction. So if I go like this, I'm changing Y. And again, if I go vertical, and I'll change the vertical, let's see, would be like this. So there I'm changing the vertical component. So anyways, that just gives you an indication <coughs> of how the uh, unit works the various axes. Uh, just running some simple code from the library of Arduino. Okay, so we just ran some software on the Arduino uh, because it has a nice library to work with the MPU 9250 and we looked at the various axes, the accelerometer, XYZ, 
the magnetometer XYZ and the gyroscope XYZ and we just sh showed how how they relate to the various movements. So now what I'd like to do is go into Open Plotter. So I'm on my VNC server here and connected to uh, my PyTop where I have the Open Plotter running. So uh, in the previous um, uh, YouTube video on Open Plotter Sensors A, we installed PyPilot and then we hooked it up. And there's the menu. If I open, uh, go into Open Plotter to PyPilot, that's what we see. Now what we want to do now is we've got to calibrate the sensor. So it, it's been detected here. You can see the MPU 9250 has been detected. So we're going to go into this calibration screen here. And when we do that, uh, we come to this screen here. Okay, so now I'm going to go over uh, to the laptop and I'm going to show you how to calibrate it. Okay, so now I'm over at my Pi Top and I've got the uh, Raspberry Pi 3B running there. And there's my GY91 board. Now what I've done is I set it in, I've got a Brazilian Portuguese dictionary here, which is nice and thick, and it provides a very level surface. It's also insulated, so I won't short the board out. You can see there's a little uh, LED on the board. So I've got it sitting flat in the XY plane. So when you get into this calibrate screen now, what you do is you go down to this button which says uh, boat is level. You hit that, and then it calibrates the sensor because the sensor doesn't know what position you're in when you start off. Okay, so now it's calibrated. Now what we can see here is if I move in this sense here, if I go like this, we're going to pitch. So that's movement about the uh, accelerometer y-axis. I'm pitching. If I go in this direction, I'm rolling. That's movement about the x-axis. And if I go, if I twist in the horizontal plane, then I'm uh, doing uh, yaw. We can go into the uh, signal K instrument menu. Let's do that. Open plotter. Uh, I'll go into the dashboard, that's what I want. Dashboards, instrument panel, signal K instrument panel, open. There we go. So we can see our atmospheric pressure. It's 1,002 millibars. And pitch. If I want to pitch, I can go pitching. There's negative, there's positive, and if I want to roll, there's positive, and there's negative. And just to check on the um, air pressure, let's go over to the Toman here. Let's see what it is. We'll just tap it there. So it says. 999 millibars, so just one millibar off, so that's way less than 1% from the BMP 280.